Templates are used to manage reusable pieces of information and link them to several substances or mixture datasets. If I go to, for example, the dashboard and then my list of templates, I will see that here I have information for my substance B. And if I look at the type of information I have, here I have one record and the partition coefficient. And it's a partition coefficient experimental study for my substance B. Now I have linked this template to substance A, where I want to use this experimental study as the source for a read across for the endpoint partition coefficient, as a source for the read across to uh, have data on substance A. So to illustrate this, I go to dashboard my substance list and I will open my dataset for substance A. I go to my list of uh, endpoints and I can see that I'm using the data for substance B in this substance A dataset and this is for the purpose of justifying a read across between substance A and substance B for partition coefficient. You see the document or the robust study summary provided by the narrated template. This is my read across source and in the dataset of substance A I have a read across target record to justify uh, my read across approach for substance A from substance B. You can see that here a link is established between the record uh, for the read across target and the read across source here, which is available in the uh, template. Now, if I want to delete the template, inherited template, I have to take care of the references between the different documents. With the improvements that we have included in the April 2022 release, these references are taken care of automatically and I can proceed safely with removing this inherited template here and all the references will be removed at the same time in the dataset. I select this icon to remove the inherited template and not use it in Substance A anymore and this will remove the references and unlink the dataset. So I'll proceed with that. And you will see that if I go back to the partition coefficient, the read across source is not available anymore. I will also delete the read across target and provide additional information for this endpoint. <laughs>